ಓಸ್ತು ರಾಮಾಯ ಸಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣಾಯ ದೇವ್ಯೈ ಚ ತಸ್ಯೈ ಜನಕಾತ್ಮಜಾಯೈ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ರುದ್ರೇಂದ್ರಯಮಾಭ್ಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಚಂದ್ರಾರ್ಕಮರುಘಣೇಭ್ಯ ಸೀತಾರಾಮ್ ಸೊ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ಜಯ ರಾಮ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಮ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ಕಾಮ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟು ಎನರ್ಜೈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಹಾಬಾಬಾಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೆಸೆಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಡ್ಯೂ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಮೆನಿ ಒಪೀನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಮಚ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ವೆರೈಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಯಾ ದೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಟಿಫೈಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಟಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಲಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ದ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕಾವ್ಯ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅ ಮಚ್ ಮೋರ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಫ್ಲೇವರ್ ಟು ದ ಕಾವ್ಯ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ರೀಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾವಾಸ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾವಾಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸೀನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಟೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಓಕೆ there there will be layers there will be layers of bhavas seen be seen between different people in the, the pair can be the same but they can have different kinds of bhavas and uh, the pair can be different or the the pair can be the same one person can reciprocate with a different bhava so these are various possibilities which we can see from this fusion so what can we uh, what can we know or learn from this is uh, that is more important right because any topic it fulfills its purpose only with when it gives a certain learning to us so what is the purpose of uh, knowing about this fusion is that it gives us a deeper understanding of emotions the transactions between two personalities in what layers they happen what are the emotions they you know exchange between each other and because of that it gives us a deeper understanding and many psycho empirical models can be built on that in our everyday transaction it would be really really helpful if we can empathize with people just imagine we have a i mean we have spouses we have life partners with us and uh, madhurya bhava is there that is definitely there but at times when we also look at as a motherly figure as a fatherly figure then there is a certain kind of respect there is a certain kind of learning uh, we learn oh she is doing so much for me and that increases this uh, element of empathy this increases this element of understanding between and it makes the life more interesting and we stay in our limits we respect the relationships that is more important right for any sustenance of family or society that respecting the relationship is much 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 more important which probably uh, is very hazy or dicey today right so uh, we see everywhere we see everywhere hybrid uh, model is the order of the day you know if you go to education if you go to fields there are so many different in earlier days there would be only one civil engineering there will be you know mechanical engineering computer science engineering there will be medicine now both these fields have come together they they say medical engineering you know two different fields have come together medical engineering medicine is a field engineering is a field this is how it works today and uh, mechatronics you know so mechanical field and electronics have come together it's the order of the day and uh, it's selling as a hot cake if you go to companies people with mechatronic profiles have a very good opportunity so it is becoming of it is becoming more like an order of the day if you go to a automotive field i come from the domain so i can speak very well about it so you see there were uh, combustion engines traditional combustion engines conventional engines and now people are moving towards uh, you know e cars e cars is the you know buzzword now but uh, we lack infrastructure we lack uh, you know the cost impetus to it it's not commercially viable so they have come to a midpoint they say hybrid cars they say you know plug in hybrid electro mobility is the order of the day and uh, to my mind to my experience that is going to be the order of the day for the next few years you go to you know food and beverage industry you go to any restaurant they say indo chinese cuisine they say indo mexicanish okay if you if you order a food there used to be you know separate dishes earlier but they have put a mix wedge 
thali you know they are they are bringing the best of world worlds and north indian food stuff and south indian food stuff it's coming together so there is hybrid everywhere and that cannot be you know denied that is going that, that is how it is going to be you see work environment hybrid it's once again people earlier used to work only from offices now after corona it is given even more impetus there is work from home there is an hybrid model partly uh, work from home partly you know office so this hybrid model in work environment has also come up and in music in music it's uh, the list goes on there is jugal bandi where it's a fusion of uh, carnatic music and uh, hindustani music there is indo western there is africo uh, i mean afro uh, asian music you have to listen to it so everywhere we see hybrid is the order of the day and so we have this uh, hybrid inbuilt into the system and that's where bhavas which are different when they combine together they give a new flavor like bahuvrihi samasa <laughs> you see so everywhere we see this fusion and let's see how in various characters in ramayana we can you know see this interplay of uh, mahabhavas so now let me speak about uh, coexistence of a multitude of bhavas between two sets of uh, i mean same set of individuals so let me take the example of uh, king dasharatha and rama okay so naturally there are two elements it's very very evident so first we see about uh, dasya bhava hmm? so where uh, rama is invited to the court during the time of uh, the assembly hall in the second chapter rama is discussed as the person who is going to be the next heir apparent and in the third chapter he is called for right when he is called for dasharatha is like a you know chairman he is the current chairman he is going to appoint the next deputy chairman so it's it's in that uh, hierarchy we saw, we saw about hierarchy right so it's in that plane so a boss who is going to you know initiate his deputy uh, that is dasya bhava here so ejamanan and uh, dasya that kind of relationship comes here so uh, rama is given certain instructions rama is given certain uh, i mean in fact dasharatha is so beautiful here he 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 starts with these words you already know these elements uh, you are aware of this but it's a duty it's a protocol it's a protocol to say so koshta garehi that shloka most of us you know so you should not be fulfilled with uh, the treasure or the money what you have in treasury and uh, whatever you have in your uh, uh, weapon house you should not be fulfilled with it you should not be satisfied with it you have to grow it so it is it is very relevant today you know defense and economy a person a country's a king should not be satisfied with it what is the word power respects power that is the order right even today power respects power people were looking at india down and only when the pokhara nuclear test happened world country started to respect why power respects power okay so here we see that's why dasharatha is so intelligent he is so prudent he gives this as a even though rama is already aware of this he gives this as an you know additional information or maybe a point to remember so far so good so dasya bhava we have seen the very the very next chapter the fourth chapter of ayodhya kandam dasharatha once again calls for rama and he discusses certain personal issues he speaks about uh, the inputs he has got from his daivagnya daivagnya means astrologers huh? and he says uh, various things that uh, you know in the constellations mars sun and rahu have come together and they are going to create havoc for the people in governance when I mean, of the highest order so he he discusses these various inputs he says don't worry rama bharata is not here kamam kalusata mrite bharata will understand he he is he's a very very you know nice the understanding of bharata dasharatha has and rama has they they share this nice uh, equation with bharata they both uh, you know understand bharata so well and even at the time when uh, dasharatha falls down when rama is living he uh, looks at kaikai when kaikai comes to touch her, comes to touch him he says kaikai stop don't touch me and then he says a word this is something we have to note he says uh i am i am abandoning you i disown you and if if ah uh, that is key the word here if bharata is also party to it i disown him and even in this, this time of critical situation you see 
how prudent king dasharatha is even in this you know distressed state he is so meticulous in his thoughts about bharata he understands the importance of bharata and that is seen throughout uh, ramayana so yeah that's why rama is born to dasharatha <laughs> who else rama would be born to fine so we see the dasya dasya bhava and vatsalya bhava both are seen here in the transaction between rama and dasharatha that's how dasharatha you know transacts with rama but let us also see how um rama reciprocates that is very very popular to this this shloka is very very popular all of us know here niyukto guruna pitra nirpena cha hitena cha now every word here means a certain relationship so you see guruna nirpena both of these they both talk about dasya bhava guruna uh, guruna and uh, uh, king these two relationships uh, speak about dasya bhava that is the transaction which rama looks towards king dasharatha the second one is pitra pitra is vatsalya bhava there is one more element rama has here towards king dasharatha nirpena cha hitena cha hitena is a well wisher so rama sees dasharatha as his well wisher as a sukhrit so he has in a way you know share this uh, camaraderie or a certain kind of friendship that that relationship is a little evident um, in the way rama reciprocates his relationship to king dasharatha okay so this is one um, certain um, you know example which i want to bring here the second example is a very beautiful example sita and rama before i go to the way sita and rama transacted in various multiple layers uh, i would also have to add here one more point about how king dasharatha himself treated kausalya devi yada yada cha kausalya dasi vacha saki vacha baryavat bagini matruvat how many layers wow dasi vacha saki vacha i mean this is this is a great example this is a great you know um baston or this is a great uh, benchmark for of, for all of us how we have to treat our life partners most of, most of the people here are married and most of the people are going to you know get married soon maybe in coming years and that's how we have to treat that's how we have to treat and vice versa both ways dasi vacha saki vacha bharyavat bagini vacha matruvat i don't need to give a certain explanation to people here most of you know this shloka it's self evident now we'll come to sita devi and rama sita devi and rama now how does sita devi deal with rama first bra- first bhava is very very uh, very apparent Mad- madhurya bhava okay now there are so many shlokas so many instances where we can see about uh, the madhurya bhava of sita devi the first one is uh, um the shloka prema bhava di bhavishyami vikalmasha prema bhava this is very explicit but uh, i found this shloka very interesting and i did not uh, know which shloka would uh, furthermore very explicitly very beautifully um, show madhurya bhava tatassa hrimati bala you know when sita devi saw the signet ring of rama her face her face blushed her face blushed with red cheeks so that is a most uh, beautiful form of the expression of love which we see here in sita devi and um this this shloka needs a special mention without mentioning this i cannot go to the next valmiki rishi has coined this shloka in such a way or it perhaps happens so tatasa hrimati bala bhartr sandesha harshita this is one part right this speaks about madhurya bhava the very second half of the shloka the bhava transforms the way she looks at hanuman and say vikrantastvam samarthastvam pragnyastvam vanarottama i mean the next shloka he, she says but she uh, transforms into that uh, temperament bhartr sandesha harti hari uh, bhartr sandesha harshita paritushta priyam krutva prashamsa mahakavim vikrantastvam samarthastvam she becomes akshatriyani here okay. and with that bhava with that ajavana bhava she looks at uh, hanuman ji and she speaks with hanuman so this is a very interesting shloka because um, a very drastic transformation in two bhavas happens here sita devi shares this madhurya bhava with rama that is one and in the very next half the dasya bhava comes to the fore and she appreciates hanuman and uh, you know exalts his virtues so it's a very interesting uh, equation or interesting uh, shloka which is very 
rare of its kind in most of the kavyas right that is one thing madhurya bhava then the next one is bhartruvatsalya bhushana okay so even though she is not uh, having or adorned with jewels this is how hanuman sees or has darshana of sita devi but she adorns the jewel of bhartruvatsalya she has that care that she has that parental love of rama towards her and that you know dresses her decorates her that's how hanuman ji visualizes and uh, the third one sakya bhava yeah sakya bhava okay sita devi sakya bhava kantasmita lakshmana jataha sa twamaha sita bahu vakya jatam this context which rama in his nostalgic memory recalls uh, we have to get into the commentary part of it to understand the uh, you know sakya bhava endowed or uh, you know uh, entrenched in this in these lines the kind of sakya bhava she shares with rama and lakshmana this is 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 very evident from the shloka then the next shloka is uh, the next uh, context is um, dasya bhava right dasya bhava so here in dasya bhava what is the shloka mrdganti kushakantakan agrataste gamishyami mrdganti kushakantakan so here she is ready to serve rama and she will go one step before rama to clean up the path and that is nanna nothing other than the role of a dasya dasya bhava okay that is evident here in sita and the final one is shanta bhava bartaram anugachanti bartahi mama daivatam mama daivatam that is a uh, bhava so we see here the same sita devi has all five bhavas in her towards her transaction with rama what a wonderful thing is it now the next question would be whether rama reciprocates this whether he has also all these you know bhavas uh, in reciprocation towards sita devi yes most of these i would say so we say we'll go one by one madhurya bhava i mean all of you are aware of it um this shloka is very very uh, you know clear uh, identification so when hanuman has darshana of sita devi we uh, श्री प्रणिष्ठेति गारुण्यात आश्रिते आश्रितेत्यानृशं स्यतः पत्नी नष्टेति शोकेन प्रियेति मदनेन च प्रियेति मदनेन च दिस वर्ड दिस फ्रेज रिप्रेजेंट्स माधुर्य बाबा ओके देन व्हाट इज दास्य बाबा आश्रिते आश्रिता इति आश्रितेत्यानृशं स्यतः सो रामा फील्स ही इज सीता देवी हैज ऑल द वे कम फॉलोइंग हिम all the way come following him and he is responsible to take care of her and that is how a guru will have towards shishya that is how a superior should have towards his subordinate okay that is yajamana dasya bhava we see here the responsibility of sita of rama towards sita devi is very well evident here then we also have this sakya bhava the same shloka kanta smita lakshmana jata hasa or in aranya kanda in i think in 10th sarga Uh, where uh, sita devi shares her opinion of why to go for a fight now with rakshasas when rama makes her understand the importance of satya duty of a warrior towards the end of that sarga towards the end of that sarga we see that uh, there is a very beautiful word that rama here says here sauhardat my dear because of the friendship with the, because of that suhrut nature towards me you have shared these opinions to me and i respect it okay and i respect it please don't stop you have to give me such opinions such ideas so that is the sukrut bhava which we see here in rama so we see um, sita devi and rama both although although they are the same pair they have all these uh, bhavas in unison both of the both of these you know two people they transact with all these bhavas so in same set of two people all these bhavas we see as a fusion we see here uh, all of them you know playing a role right so now we'll move to the next segment the people can be the same one has a certain kind of bhava towards the other and the reciprocation is different okay this is very much evident from various characters in the way they transact with rama actually rama is uh, rama treats bharata as his equal 
అండ్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ హీ సేస్ హీ సేస్ టు వాలి ఇన్ ఎయిటీన్ సర్గ్ ఆ కిష్కింద కాండం హీ సేస్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ కమ్ ఫాలోయింగ్ ది ఆర్డర్స్ ఆఫ్ భరత ఓకే హీ హీ గివ్స్ దట్ హై స్టేటస్ హీ ఈస్ అకార్డెడ్ దట్ హై స్టేటస్ దట్ ఈక్వల్ స్టేటస్ టు ఆర్ ఈవెన్ అ లిటిల్ అబౌవ్ హిమ్ సో సో రామా ట్రీట్స్ భరత విత్ సచ్ గ్రేట్ యు నో ఇంపార్టెన్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ వీ సీ హౌ రామా ట్రీట్స్ భరత రైట్ బట్ నౌ ఇఫ్ వీ కమ్ టు ద వే హౌ భరత రెస్పాండ్స్ రియాక్ట్స్ బ్యాక్ టు రామా ఇట్ ఈస్ ద వే ఆఫ్ సర్విట్యూడ్ ఓకే దాస్య బాబా వీ సీ హియర్ అండ్ టుడే బీయింగ్ ఆల్సో ద టైటిల్ ఆఫ్ దాస్య బాబా వీ హ్యావ్ స్పోకన్ ఇన్ వెరీ డీటెయిల్స్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ బట్ వన్ థింగ్ విచ్ యు నో కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై మైండ్ అగైన్ అండ్ అగైన్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ అనేబుల్ టు రీకన్సైల్ మై సెల్ఫ్ ఓకే విసి పాదుకా పట్టాభిషేకం దట్ హ్యాస్ హ్యాపన్ అండ్ భరత బీయింగ్ యాజ్ అ రిప్రజెంటేటివ్ ఆఫ్ రామా హీ రూల్స్ అయోధ్య ఓకే అండ్ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ అనేబుల్ టు రీకన్సైల్ ఇస్ ఐ ఐ ఓవ్ దిస్ క్రెడిట్ టు వన్ ఆఫ్ మై మెమరీస్ ఫ్రమ్ శ్రీరంగం where there was a noble lady called Rajeshwari ji. She told me this point. Uh, she attained uh, Jagraha Padav Ramasya. Okay. Now, uh, what is the point? What is the point she told? Uh, we were discussing about revolutions in Ramayana. Okay. What are the revolutions? How Ramayana is revolutionary? So, she came up with this idea. She told that Rama Padukas is revolution. Can you think of a sandal a pair of sandal not before rama or neither after the period of rama can you think of two sandals ruling the entire nation will anybody have the guts to place two pairs of sandals on the throne just imagine can you go to the prime minister's office or president's office and place two sandals on the throne i'm not joking it could be sounding like a joke but this can never happen and that can happen only for one one name one brand and the name is synonymous with brand and that is rama there is a magic with rama okay and what i wonder here is neither bharata had any kind of hitch in his mind are if i go if i go and place this pair of sandals on throne will people speak uh, mad about me will, will people will people think are he has gone crazy what is he doing will will people will people think whether i have gone mad or uh, will the ministers be supportive of this no um bharata did not have any hitch of this sort in his mind neither bharata had nor ministers or people of ayodhya had they were completely in sync with bharata that is what we see here and that is none other than the magnanimity of uh, rama or uh, nothing um, you know far greater or lesser to what you know rama stages so we see when rama treats bharata as his equal or places a little more even you know importance to bharata bharata feels that tasya me dasa bhutasya i am dasa to rama he also says to guha right guru sakhe he mentions here rama as his guru so many you know so many instances can be quoted where we see that bharata says rama as his guru and uh, the entire second half of ayodhya kandam is testimony of the fact that bharata considers rama as his guru so this is the reciprocation i mean different type of reciprocation we see between uh, the same set of uh, characters next we shall go to the kind of uh, chemistry yeah that lakshmana and rama shared between each other so here lakshmana um how does rama treat lakshmana how does rama treat lakshmana ditiye antaratma huh? rama treats lakshmana akin to his soul akin to his soul huh? not only rama treats like this this is very 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 you know very popular even antagonist when this shukasharan adi fellows come and introduce uh, various uh, you know vanara chiefs introduce about rama sugriva lakshmana from a distance to ravana ravana is all ears he is hearing and then shuka and sharana they say you have to you have to read that it's a wonderful place you have to read that place and there he says uh, he, he first introduces rama 
yasmin dharmaha nachalati where dharma is unflinching he says all this and then he comes to lakshmana now he says um you have seen now who rama is okay the sharira of rama is seen by you now and now have you seen the prana of rama have you seen the prana of rama and if you want to see that see it to the side of rama Ra- prana of rama is personified in the form of lakshmana that is how even the antagonist introduce lakshmana so we see the kind of um the kind of privilege or the kind of importance lakshmana has in ramayana rama treats lakshmana like that in fact uh, he i mean we we always uh, share our very personal things to our dear most friends where we don't have any kind of uh, apprehensions that will he become judgmental about me no when that is not there we share about our you know internal emotions to them and when rama is all alone with uh, lakshmana on the banks of river ganga on the first uh, in the night when they are separated after you know leaving sumantra he says these words uh, it's a very very touching place it's a very touching place um, ashrupurna muko rama you know the the way that that sarga starts with the way that sarga starts um uh, ramayato shreshta ramayato shreshta rama uh, ramayatam shreshta ramayatam shreshta rama rama is synonymous to making people happy you know he always makes people happy around him and once, once again recall to this word sukadaha suki the adjective about uh, dasharatha a very you know parallel between rama and uh, dasharatha when the hanuman says about dasharatha he says sukadaha suki he is also happy and he makes sukam dadati iti he makes others around him also happy similarly here rama is the person who makes others around him also feel happy and he is also happy and he introduces with these words but the course of the sarga is all you know sadness of rama that rama who is uh, you know making people happy who are around him he feels so sad for things that have happened in the recent past in ayodhya and he shares these things with lakshmana and we see here that kind of bond that kind of importance lakshmana is given by rama so that is the premium which lakshmana enjoys but lakshmana when he introduces himself to hanuman ji he say he says i mean when when rama lakshmana are first met by hanuman ji hanuman ji asks who are you noble men where have you come from why are you here uh, i am hanuman i am minister of sugriva who are you uh, lakshmana very in a very detailed manner he introduces about uh, dasharatha why they have come here in search of sugriva and all that and then he says that hamasya avaro bhrata gunaihi dasya mubagata okay so he here lakshmana reciprocates the form of dasya bhakti or uh, the dasya bhava towards rama so so we see here on one plane rama treats lakshmana akin to his soul a very very you know so close friend of his but on the other side we see how uh, lakshmana reciprocates he looks at La- he looks at rama as his yajamana you know um and uh, in fact rama also shares this vatsalya bhava with uh, lakshmana he he looks at Ram- he looks at uh, lakshmana bhava gyana kritagyana dharma gyana cha lakshmana tvaya putrena dharmaatma na samvrtaha pitamama i don't feel the separation of my father because i see i see the element of king dasharatha in you and this is this is uh, once again you know this is once again um, reiterated by sita devi sita devi says to hanuman she says oh, this is wonderful wonderful place there are so many interesting elements in sundara kanda this is one such place where sita devi says about uh, the kind of character lakshmana is she says ಶಕ್ತಃ ನ ಬಹುಭಾಷಿತ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಲೌಟರ್ ದನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ರಾಮ ಆನ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಶಕ್ತಃ ನ ಬಹುಭಾಷಿತ ದನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಶಿ ಸೇಸ್ ನಿಯುಕ್ತೋ ದುರ್ಯಸ್ಯಾಂ ತು ತಾಮ್ ಉದ್ವಹತಿ ವೀರ್ಯವಾಣ್ ಯಂ ದೃಷ್ಟ ರಾಘವೋ ನೈವ ವೃತ್ತಂ ಆರ್ಯಂ ಅನುಸ್ಮರೇ ದರ್ ಸೀತಾ ದೇವಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ರಾಮ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ದಶರಥ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎಲಮೆಂಟ್ ಹಿ ಸೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟಲ್ ಲವ್ ವಿಚ್ ದಶರಥ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ parents have so much of care they see everything for their child and do right that's how lakshmana 
does everything for rama he brings food he arranges uh, shelter he constructs house for them so that is how um, rama sees lakshmana but here the beauty is lakshmana sees rama as his yajamana as his guru okay so that is what uh, the interesting um, you know equation we see between lakshmana and rama next we shall move to how uh, guha guha and rama guha and rama it is very evident rama sees guha as his dear most friend atma samasaka valmiki rishi says atma samasaka and guha he says uh, he says that uh, rama is not only my friend but uh, he is also my uh, he is also my master he is also my yajaman where when bharata comes when bharata comes he says to his uh, fellow fishermen uh, i don't know what is the intention with which bharata is coming here uh, rama is not only my friend but he is above that but he is like yajamana for me he, he sees rama in dasya bhava he sees rama as yajamana the same explanation or the same um, emotion we can see once again when Ra, when guha uh, shares his emotions with uh, sumantra and lakshmana mamasti bhuvi kashchana na ramat priyataram mamasti mamasti bhuvi kashchana there is nothing superior to me than rama there is a kind of uh, importance guha places to rama here so we see once again rama looks at guha as his dear most friend he shares that kind of transaction with guha but guha reciprocates not only as friend but as his yajamana okay so this is very strange how that is that is magic in ram okay this person rama is a very curious person is a very very strange person and how he is able to achieve it because it, it's it's very clear it is because of his nobility it is because of his kalyana gunas there is no uh, second opinion to it but this divine element is, is something really really very interesting with him the next character um, equation we see here is between sugriva and rama okay this so amusing relationship okay rama finds a very dear friend with sugriva okay he shares his uh, personal calamities he shares his, you know separation from sita separation from i mean loss of kingdom sugriva also reciprocates and in this uh, kishkinda ganam i think it's uh, i think it's eighth sarga there um sugriva um the, the the trajectory the curve of sugriva's uh, relationship with rama is very very beautiful he first treats rama as his equal there is this shloka in kishkinda gandam he says that rama um, i'm so happy because uh, raghuvamsha is a great dynasty and to make friends with such a person i'm really really um, you know blessed and people in my uh, you know kingdom they'll feel so um, happy about this and i'm also very very glad about this that i have made a friendship with a person who is coming from raghuvamsha then comes the next shloka here is the point here he says i am also equal to you <laughs> i am also equal to you but i should not speak about myself huh? <laughs> so in due course of time you know about me that's how sugriva says to rama you go you go and see this uh, shloka you go and see this uh, you know sarga it's very interesting so human so human and uh, when i read this uh, passage i will uh, you know tell to myself it's not sugriva uh, i mean it's not rama who gradually know uh, learns about sugriva but it's sugriva who gradually learns about rama <laughs> it happens the other way so the character arc of sugriva is like this that he starts slowly slowly rama you know you you will come and you know know about me <laughs> that's what sugriva says and then uh, in due course of time we see how things happened in kishkinda kandam and finally how you know sugriva comes in line <laughs> joins the party of bharata lakshmana guha and uh, yuddha kandam we see this explicit ha huh? saka dasos mi ravana he says right when he goes and fights with Laksh- uh, with ravana he says saka dasos mi ravana and uh, because of rama tejas i have come here to beat you he says these words what i am really amused here is the king sugriva he is also dasa to rama his dasa is also dasa to rama <laughs> this happens only to rama huh? so we see both of these uh, noble people you know sugriva as well as you know hanuman ji they share this and and the, the way rama treats sugriva as his equal as his dear friend and the way sugriva transforms this transformation is so beautiful to read through the passages of 
కిష్కింద కాండం దెన్ ఫైనలీ విల్ కమ్ టు దిస్ లాస్ట్ సెగ్మెంట్ వేర్ రిషీస్ ట్రాన్సాక్ట్ విత్ రామా ఓకే దిస్ ఇస్ అ స్పెషల్ కేస్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ శాంత భావ్ ఓకే సో రిషీస్ డీల్ విత్ రామా దే సే దే నో ది సబ్లైమ్ నేచర్ ఆఫ్ రామా సో దట్ ఈస్ వన్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ ద సెకండ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ దే అప్రోచ్ రామా ఏ హీ పశ్య శరీరాణి మునీనాం భావితాత్మనాం దే సే దట్ ప్లీజ్ లుక్ అట్ దీస్ యు నో బాడీస్ ఆఫ్ రిషీస్ రాక్షస హ్యావ్ క్రియేటెడ్ హ్యావ్ అక్ హియర్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ శరణం ప్రాప్త వీ హ్యావ్ కమ్ టు యువర్ యు నో శరణం వీ హ్యావ్ యూ హ్యావ్ వీ ఆర్ సీకింగ్ యువర్ రెఫ్యూజ్ నో శరణం శరణాగతి శరణ ఇస్ అ దాస్య భావ ఎవిడెంట్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ ఎవిడెంట్ రామ రెసిప్రొకేట్స్ ద సేమ్ దాస్య భావ టు దెమ్ he says that uh, you should not uh, you should not say it to me like this you have to order me you have to order me so um, rama understands that uh, stature of rishis he does not want to you know bring them down he understands the stature so he though he is here he you know comes to the stature of rishis and says i am i am your uh, i am i am a, i mean you are ajamana to me i am uh, in the dasya bhava you have to order me you have to instruct me you should not you know request me no no you have to instruct me so we see this uh, beautiful equation between rishis and drama so what we finally can understand from all these things is there is a beautiful blend of uh, transactions beautiful blend of bhavas uh, with drama between the same set of characters one can uh, treat the way, treat the other one as a friend or a, you know uh, son but the other one can treat the other as a yajamana provided uh, that kind of respect or divinity is in him and we also saw how between two sets of same individuals be it dasharatha rama or be it sita devi and rama we saw that they shared you know almost similar bhavas rama also saw sita devi uh, with uh, like a friend like a uh, you know like a priya like a madhurya bhava sakya bhava dasya bhava all, all these elements are shared between both of be, between both of them between rama and sita the kind of uh, um transactions that is between various individuals in ramayana that is a area of serious exploration and now the biggest advantage of doing this is we try to learn in various spheres or in various layers how people interact with each other and when we try to reciprocate them when we try to as i earlier said um i will conclude with the same point from which i started so if we if we if we try to see our friend not only as a friend but as a you know uh, a parental figure or a person who is showing so much care towards us if we see our wife or partners or uh, you know spouses as not only uh, person with madhurya bhava but also with other certain kinds of bhava uh, it is going to elevate it is going to elevate the kind of transaction that is going to be there you will start to respect you will start to empathize and that is what we need right there is a difference between understanding this understanding things and realizing things okay they say purunjigaradu vera unarardu vera right so we'll realize things we'll realize things only when we empathize with people when we get into their shoes and see and that is what this um, you know fusion of mahabhavas give us as a learning is there any correlation between qualities versus the bhavas um i will come to that little later yeah little little daisy uh, but the question with shrikant ji yes there is a flip side to it so the right approach would be i mean um, you have to know the nature of the person whom we are transacting with okay if he is a noble person if he is a dharmic person there is no problem and uh, this kind of uh, fusion of bhavas will only elevate the relationship between both of them but uh, if let's say um, there is a very uh, um, you know there is a person whom we are trying to uh, speak in a friendly manner but he is trying to boss around then um, for the sake of good for the sake of good then we will have to change the kind of transaction the approach of bhava towards him okay so that will be very helpful in the practical uh, ways in which we move with people so that is a flip side so we will have to be really really aware of whom we transact with 
what is the intention what what is the purpose for which we transact so that should uh, that awareness should be there then it would uh, be more fruitful krurai ranaryehi saumitre parihasah katanchana so it's a nice example shurpanaka incident is a nice example for this and shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, very great acharya gaudiya sampradaya <coughs> what he says is uh, in other bhavas hmm. we can't see madhurya bhava okay um, any bhava um, fusion can happen but there we can't see madhurya bhava but in madhurya bhava all other bhavas are inherent hmm. in this way madhurya bhava is superior to all other bhavas hmm. I, i see a similar analogy between rasas like how mahabhavas maybe in later session we'll have vidha for navarasas <laughs> similar conference because uh, i'm sorry i'm a late comer but anyway i will add one small little idea about it <clears throat> essentially bhava is something what you feel in your heart and bhava is always pure only thing is when it has to come to an expression you always say that expression is based on the on the uh, society which receives it mm-hmm. so therefore there are some places where we might have shown that bhava but then the society is not prepared to receive that mm-hmm. therefore this conflict occurs mm-hmm. otherwise what should happen is that feeling of bhava is something is belong to the consciousness itself and expression when it has to come it has to go through our intellect mm-hmm. intellect should govern whether it is right at mm-hmm. that point of time to express or not it should hold on if you do that bhavas do not have any conflicting situations mm-hmm. thank you sita very beautiful wise words <laughs> yeah thank you thank you ji when you feel for certain no, i'll start with uh, dasya bhava so in the book when you talked about uh, uh, dasaratha and rama there is a dasya bhava mm. so the for dasya bhava to come i saw certain qualities that is triggering that dasya bhava mm. right so if there is a quality which i want to imbibe or mm. i want to ad- i am admiring that is triggering that bhava yes this is a nice observation this is a nice observation and uh, i think uh, the other way around is also possible because of that bhava that quality can be imbibed Correct. and that is what i actually meant by learning uh, from the other person so naturally if there is if we treat a person as a guru who who really deserves it if we treat that person as guru naturally uh, we will listen to his words we will try at least to an extent to follow his words to you know um, put it in practice which is important and there uh, only if we inculcate this bhava then that quality will start to ingrain in our mind so there this quality and bhava has a very close relationship and i think both work hand in hand can uh, too much of rational or uh, logical thinking be a barrier to development of bhakti bhava ah. now i have a very beautiful answer but please all of you make a note of it okay so now uh, what is bhakti we have to define what is bhakti to understand this if we understand this then our answers will be clarified this is a sutram which i learned uh, when i was a kid um, 167 north chitra street sri rangam so uh, those days rangan ji used to take classes and uh, he used to say what is bhakti is love pure bhakti is love pure bhakti so many people will say yes love towards this god is pure bhakti wow love is pure huh? they say love is bhakti but uh, we see fundamentalists also in the name of love they have can we call it as bhakti now now this is what is more important definition of bhakti i will say first in tamil and then translate into to english dharmata ashrama kondi enda prema iruko adukku bhakti nu peru now that love which has dharma as its seat is called bhakti now when we have defined what dharma is we are very very clear dharma is beyond uh, ration or love okay so here what we need to understand is dharma is that now yataha abhyudaya nishreya siddhi actions values these are all things what we see outwards yataha 
Apadane Panchami. Fifth, fifth class. It means from which Abhidaya Nishreyasa comes. So it goes to the inner uh, intention. Right? So that intention is is to be, um, is, is, is that word which promotes Dharma. That is Dharma. So we have to be understand uh, when we uh, need to know what is Dharma. And uh, if we have a very clear understanding of what Dharma is, what Dharma is, then um, there is no doubt that love which, you know, has seat of Dharma, it will never become false. And that is Bhakti. That is pure Bhakti. And uh, we are all, we can proudly say, we here have that kind of Bhakti. And Rama Bhakti is that which is based on Dharma, Sitaram.